It's a streaky. Yes. <laughs> I don't understand you. Goodbye. Do I even have to say anything? Hello, guys. It's me, Nikki. Hi. Well, I made a promise I wouldn't be gone for another like couple of months. It's only been a couple of weeks. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> Over on my Instagram page at Nikki Tutorials, if you're not following me, I now have a broadcast channel. <laughs> Hello. And on my Instagram broadcast channel, I have this like little group of glow babies that can like become a member for free. And it's just like our little inner circle. So if you want to join the broadcast channel, I've said broadcast channel so many times. And in that broadcast channel, I asked you guys to vote for which video you want to see next here on YouTube. So if you want to become an influence on what I do next, join. So I give you guys three options and the results are in. Europe, stop voting now. In third place, with 4.3 thousand votes, we've got Trying World's Biggest Beauty Sponge. Yeah, well that's not happening because it didn't win. And coming in as a runner up is following a Trixie Mattel makeup tutorial. Been wanting to do that for years now, but guess what? It didn't win. <laughs> and the winner with 25.5 thousand votes is, well, you, you read the title. I don't know why I did all this. <laughs> Today, we're doing my full face with products I hate. I've gathered some stuffs over the last couple of months when I was gone. When I'm gone, I swear, I think I recently found out that I have ADHD and it just, a lot of things just made sense. Okay, so I have this little tray full of products that I hate and I wanna reiterate that because, okay, well, here's the tray, I'm gonna put it back down. This video is a personal journey, okay? These products are products that I don't like. I just wanna say this for the people in the back. If something does not work for me, doesn't necessarily mean it's not gonna work for you. When I voice my opinion, that is my opinion. It's my opinion! And of course, I'm always open to constructive feedback. Hey Nikki, oh my God, I can't believe you hate that product because I love it and I use it this and this way. I like that. But at the end of the day, my opinion is my opinion. And if you see any products in this video that you are head over heels with, I wish I had that same experience. So, okay, I think we've gotten that out of the way. Hello? Whatever. Okay, so if you're excited to see me struggle, if you're excited to see me play with products that just don't work for me, products that I hate, keep on watching. Uh, uh, I'm a little nervous for this one. Okay. All right, let's start off with primer. And I have two options. The first one I wanna talk about is by JLo Beauty. There goes my chance of ever collaborating with her. <laughs> this is the That Star filter. It's a complexion booster. It's like a very glowy, bronzy, illuminator type of gig. <laughs> I have rich bronze, because we know she's rich. And we've got warm bronze. I'm gonna go for rich. <laughs> Now, ever since I created my own oh my God, primer, I haven't really dipped into any other primers because I'm so obsessed with what I created with Nimya, my Wear It All Starts Cream, that I basically never looked back. And this is why. Well, this, okay, it's very bronzy. Oh, that, I should not use that. No more rich for me. I'm gonna go for warm. <laughs> Oopsie bloops. See, when we think of JLo, of course we think of the JLo glow. We think of the, oh my God. <laughs> of um, the JLo glow. And she's always tan, always glowing, always a goddess, but this stuff just is so goddamn streaky. It dries so fast. And by the time you're like, okay, okay, I think I got this, I got this, it's dried in and it does nothing for the face. It just gives you weird type of glow. It's very glittery. And look at that, it pills up. See, it starts peeling up on the face. Oh, JLo, baby. It's a streaky, patchy, I know we're doing a full face of makeup I hate. I have to get rid of the pillage. Like, what is going on? Oh, it's in my hair too, oh. The next product is another sort of like primer. This is the Trini London <clears throat> Miracle Blur. I saw an ad and the ad got me good. This little pot of sort of like pore diffusing, pore blurring, sort of like silicone-y stuff. I saw like an, a more mature woman just 
balancing this on fine lines and I was like, girl, they vanished. They were gone at the door. I was like, oh my God, it's like she has a filter on. And I'm guessing that she probably had a filter on because this is absolutely nothing. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up some of the product on my finger and she says to like tap it into fine lines. The way this is so terribly drying and then once you get past the like dryness, everything you put on top is just gonna, oh, it looks so messy and patchy and dry. Like I get it, we wanna blur, but like we don't wanna look dry. And it's expensive too. Trini London, I get, no. And I'm sure Trini London is a doll, but this product, just, it's not working for me. Okay. God, I don't even wanna go on to the next one. For foundation, I again have two options. They're equally bad on me. The first one is expensive as this is the La Mer Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation, darling. Wait, wait. This is, I believe, $144 <laughs> for $144. I need this to just like make my skin look as if I just got birthed by Mama Tutorials. Like nothing has happened to that beautiful, gorgeous skin yet, and it, it does not. It's like a light to like less light, not even medium coverage, and just it slips and slides. For this type of money, <laughs> this one, oh my God, I love Krylon. Krylon is such a good, good brand, but this, oh shit. This is the Vita Color. <clears throat> the Vita Color is a creme foundation with hoher Deckhaft, erhaltlich in viele Haut und Buntfarben, enthält Vitamine. That was German. <laughs> Vita Color is a cream foundation with high covering power. Available in a large range of colors contains vitamins. This is probably one of the most insane full coverage foundations you will try in your life. But when they say cream foundation, babe, they weren't messing around. This is so greasy. This won't last for 10 minutes. So we've got like a foundation that tries to be a foundation, but it's it's asking for, you know, a loan on your life. And this can't do anything because as soon as you move on top of it, it just slips and slides. It's a mess. So I'm gonna combine the two. Woo! A little mix around. Look at a little yellow. Okay, I'm just gonna, ooh, and I, ooh, that is not my look, is it? Okay, I'm gonna take the foundation mix and we're just gonna pounce her on. Like I said, the coverage is there, although because I mixed it with the La Mer, it's really gonna take down that cover power of the Kryolan. It is so slippy. This will not last. I do want to mention though that Kryolan has some of the best coverage products in the market. They have the TV paint sticks. They've got amazing base products. But for me, this just really didn't do it. Oh my God. You can fry an egg on my head. You don't even want to know how much this hurts. I am such a perfectionist. Whenever I'm playing with makeup, I want it to look good. And now just going in with all these products that just don't work for me, I'm in pain. Okay, foundation is on. Concealer! The cancel train has started to ride. This is a hot take. I don't think a lot of people will agree with me, but my video. Uh, the first concealer is this. Oh God, I can hear the screaming. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This, oh my God. It is such an up and down journey with this one because one day I'll apply it and it's like, oh my God, you're gorgeous. The next day I'll apply it again and I'm like, oh, what happened? And especially in photos, oh, it almost like accentuates like pores that don't exist under the eyes. It's crazy. I, I have heard that the white one is way better, so I gotta try that. I hope it's a flawless day, but I guess not. Okay, this is gonna, oh my God. I love Selena Gomez. We know this, I've collaborated with her. I love her. I cannot get on board with the Rare Beauty Concealer. I know, go ahead, cancel me. I know, I know, I'm sad about it too. It's just, it doesn't give me that magical touch. Whenever I see other people use it, it's like, oh, I love that for you, but for me, dryish, patchy, it doesn't really cover much. Mm -hmm. But if I have to choose between the two, the e.l.f. is worse, so we're gonna go for e.l.f. Oh my God, the other foundation is already starting to like gunk up on the crevices. I look like my mom's neighbor when I was like four years old. I guess she really made an impact on me. <laughs> As I'm blending it in under the eyes, it's like trying to give that coverage, but it's kind of like see-through still. And it just makes my skin look like bumpy and dry. Like on the chin and on the forehead, I was like, oh, she might give us a plot twist today, but then under the eyes, it's just, it doesn't work for me. You know what's so frustrating is that it kind of slays on camera. Let me, wait, let me show you on my iPhone so you can see what I'm talking about. Hello? <laughs> see? Under the eyes. See what I'm talking about? See it? After foundation and concealer, usually I do contouring and bronzing liquid and, um, oh baby, I'm so sorry. I love, <laughs> 
I love Charlotte Tilbury. I think she makes some iconic products. I've worked with them in the past on like sponsored content. If I'm gonna work with you, I need brands to know what I think of them and not everything is gonna be like a hit. Like some products are not gonna work for me. To me, the contour wand is not it. it it's quite expensive. Like most of this tube is filled with air and the product itself always ends up looking muddy on me. And it pisses me off. Because when I see people fall in love with this, I'm like, oh, give it to me now. So when I put this on, first of all, you gotta work really, really fast because it dries really fast. Okay, so I always contour on just here. You hear that? <laughs> see, I'm pushing the whole tube and barely anything is coming. Oh, there she is. Oh my God. Let me blend that out before it dries. See how it's always just patchy. It also always lifts up my foundation underneath. Now, of course, today it's definitely gonna do that because I use this foundation mix, but like even when I have like my hardcore indestructible foundation mix on, it takes it off. It just removes it completely. It leaves me with holes. See my skin coming through that pink? That's me. <laughs> I've tried it with brushes. I've tried it with sponges. It just never hits. See, it always just leaves that mark. Oh my God. I don't understand you. I'm not excited for this part. <laughs> You try your best, but you don't succeed. Sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay. Oh, this is a hot take. I have another rare beauty product, but I don't want to get canceled. <laughs> so we're just gonna. For liquid blush, I feel like I'm attacking a cult. People love this. I've never understood. I love NARS. Like, NARS is such a, like, ooh, cunty. Like, ooh, not the sponge falling again. I know you don't want to do this, so don't I. The way people obsess over NARS orgasm, slay orgasm all day. <laughs> Just the powder blush, liquid blush, stick blush. It always just makes me look like I have rosa ro rosacea. Rosacea. Give it to the runway, runway, rosacea. Tens. <laughs> they have other colors that I somewhat enjoy, but the orgasm one and the pump just always just kind of like clogs. The packaging leaks for me. And then the stick. This is orgasm the stick. Multiple orgasm stick. I'm sure it looks beautiful on you. It doesn't on me. I think we're going to do the liquid then and the stick on top. I don't know. Uh, she's very wet. <laughs> I guess because I've always been very insecure about the redness in my face, and this tone kind of reminds me too much of me in school during PE getting looked at for being so goddamn red. It just, it brings back trauma. Although I will say, kind of like it on camera. <laughs> oh, the other colors are fine. I just don't like orgasm. I like or, okay, stop. The stick, you know, if we want to go in with some extra. Oh, it's just that color. She ain't for me. Locks down in one spot and just doesn't move. So we're gonna keep it at that. So in a little bit, I will go in with another layer of concealer, this time using the Rare Beauty to just show you both. And then I'm gonna set with this. Oh, we're back to La Mer. This powder was, I believe, like $120. And for that type of money, baby, I needed to wake me up in the morning, serve me the most delicious breakfast, tell me that laundry has been done, tell me the dogs have been walked, and that I'm ready to slay another day. And it does nothing of the sort. This is the La Mer Translucent Sheer Pressed Powder. It just mattifies you for like an hour. And then it's like, deuces, gotta go. I don't think there's anything special about that powder. I think it's just for rich, older people who don't know what powder should do. Let's bounce her in. Oh, rare. Oh, no, nope. there you go. I was like, oh, it's kind of good today, but yeah, nope. And then I'm gonna take that same damp sponge, rub it into the La Mer powder. It's just, oh, I don't get you. Okay, using that same powder and a puff, I am now gonna set the rest of the face. It's just any other regular powder that you can get from any brand. Don't spend like over a hundred dollars on it then. And I know I can already hear some of you click clacking on that keyboard. Oh my God, I think you look fabulous. Thank you, I love you too, but like trust me, the camera, very forgiving. The lighting, very forgiving. Oh my God, I just wanna, okay, I'm gonna show you my nose. The crusty ass lip, ew. Here we go. Hello? Look at the nose. Look how patchy it is around my nose. Look at the under eyes. Look at the face. Look at the texture. Look at it all. <laughs> all right, time to move on to the brows. I usually don't show my brows on camera, but there is some products that just don't work for me. And one of them being the NYX Brow Glue. I think when you want to use like a glue type of brow product, you really want it to like stick down the brow hairs. And for me, they don't stay down with this. After like 30 minutes, the first couple of hairs are like, Hi, you missed me? <laughs> 
when I use this to like really create that soap brow look, the brow hairs do not stay down and that annoys me. Watch them like stay up for this entire video and prove me wrong, but like every time I've used this, the brows come through. She's not for me. Let's see what else is still in my box. For eyes, I can't really say I have like a palette that I, I strongly, strongly dislike. And also because when a palette just doesn't speak to me, I give it away. There is two products when it comes to eyes that just were a letdown to me. I spent some coin on this pencil right here. This is the Gucci. I can't have my Gucci on. A long lasting coal liner in the color Celeste uh, number, is that a six or a nine? Well, it's either 90 or it's 06. And I got this because I loved, loved the color. Look at the color. First of all, it doesn't apply to the waterline and I bought this for my waterline. So it, it might work on the lid, but that's not why I bought it. But I'm gonna try it on my lid today. <laughs> I don't have bases that I don't like because I just use my P. Louise base only. And since I'm not gonna use like any shadows, I'm just gonna set the lid with my favorite powder by La Mer. But when I wanna apply this to my waterline, it's like halfway there. Like I'm expecting this like pow of color and it's just giving about 30% and it doesn't last. So like I have it on my waterline and like in, in, in 20 minutes, she gone. She seeped into the corners. Oh, that concealer is creasing, you guys. Look at that. I'll show you a close up shot at the end so you can like really get in there. All right, let me try it on my actual eye though. You see that color is just, it looks so much better here. What is going on? That is just so disappointing. Goodbye. This glitter by Half Magic, I really like what Half Magic is doing. Half Magic was created by the makeup artist who does all the looks for Euphoria. And this is the bronze one. I don't have the, the name of it, but they have like a, a 3D silver type of one. So I threw it away. So extremely watery. And because of that, the glitter in here doesn't really come down onto the skin. And for me, what just really made me so sad is that it burned. It burned my lids. I don't I don't know if I want burning eyelids today, but I guess we're doing it. It's like a little crease moment. Oh, this look is so bad. And it's not burning yet, but for the silver, the silver just burned immediately. And when I read the reviews, people were like, why is it so watery? So I was like, I'm not the only one. You know I'm not the only one. This bronze is kind of a sleigh. Is this the product that is gonna like survive the day? Oh, is it? Probably not. Oh baby, okay, It's not the bronze is not too bad, so you can stay. For lashes, it's kind of the same story to me. I don't really hate these. They're just like, they were really hyped on TikTok and I was like, oh my God, these are insane. I need to try them. And it just, I don't fall in love with them like other people do. Uh, the NYX Jumbo Lash Extension Clusters. I was like, oh yes, get me together, Jumbo. Hello, Yumbo. <laughs> I'm just gonna put like a couple of clusters on to feel my fantasy. And then we can cry in a corner. Oh, it's a rough day. It's dark. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Stunning the house. Boots. I mean, a lot of people love these. And I am literally a nut job because I enjoy like very intense lashes for my looks. I know most of you are not like that, which is probably for the better. When you're gonna call something jumbo, I expect you to like jumbo me. I will say though that I kind of enjoy them today. So I might have to give these another shot. Right here, I have the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. I wanna love this so badly because every time I see this, people go head over heels for it. And what I see everyone doing is just swirling their brush in. And supposedly this is just gonna warm up your complexion. Plus give it like this, like to die for glow and luminosity. And it does not give me that. What happens happens is that sort of like middle, sort of like highlighter shade just really catches the eye. And I'm like, not sure if I should just like set my entire face with this. I'm not sure if I can only bronze with this. This product just is really confusing to me. I don't get the hype. I love Makeup by Mario products. There are some key products that I cannot live without, but this did pretty much nothing. These Valentino Beauty Eye to Cheek products, not necessarily super bad, just the packaging is so annoying to me. Like it's so big for no reason. I mean, it's a pretty product. Like all of them have this like soft sheen to them, but on the face, especially this color are just not giving. This is number three. I mean, these two are 
fine. I guess I'll put them away. But like number three is, it reminds me of Orgasm by NARS a lot. They're pretty hefty in price. They smell like grandma's roses because it's a luxury brand and everything smells like grandma's roses when it's luxury. It's nothing special for that price point. They should be special. I hate the packaging and I hate this color. Do I even have to say anything? I know the people are waiting for my Dior video explaining what happened. I still have to figure out if I actually can contract wise, but this is the, the viral Dior pink blush. You can get this in 70 other brands on the market. I want this color on my face. It's not really showing up. It is very sheer and all the hype for all this is like, why? why? Wow, wow, I just don't get the rage. And it's not because I have like a personal thing with Dior, but like, okay, you can get this from any brand. We're almost there, I swear, and then we get to really zoom in and show it all. Okay, for highlighter. Ugh. The Kevin Aquan Aqua Glass Glow Face Illuminator. I hate these when you apply these to the face chicken grease it looks like grease so i'm gonna use this one of the two pixie dream i'm sure makeup artists who work on set every day love this for like that insane high fashion glow like that wet type of skin but for us people who want to wear this on a daily basis it is like vaseline with barely their shimmer in it it doesn't work for me and tap it on with my finger and it's just gonna look like oil and it's gonna lift up everything I put underneath. And I know like the professional makeup artists who've been in the industry for a hundred years are gonna come for me. And then I would like to tell them that I also was in the industry for years. I know why people would defend this, but I hate it. <laughs> and to really end with a bang, the lipstick I hate the most, I can say with my whole body, I hate this. I like the formula, I like the brand even, but this color, I don't know how it got approved. This is the Gucci Valentine lipstick. It is teal green. What? Okay, here we go. I'm legit getting cold shivers. Oh my God. Are you ready to see this look up close? I don't think I am ready for it, but let's go. <laughs> yes. Take it all in, honey. Take it in. Look at the under eyes. Like I said, that was gonna crease, and it did. Look at the skin. Look at that grease. See the nose? See how there's all these patches and how it just kind of like gave up? That lip color, oh my God. Look at you guys. <gasps> so bad. And that's it, guys. That's it, my glow babies. That is my full face of products that I hate. Let me know in the comments down below which product you think was the worst and which one you think I should give a second shot. And I just want to reiterate one more time, if there's anything in this video that you love. Yes, I didn't. Oh, do we want a Dutch word of the day? Terrible. Shake a look. Fair. Schrik. Look. Verschrikkelijk. Oh, lieve, dit is toch verschrikkelijk. Thank you so much for watching this brand new video here on my YouTube channel. I appreciate it so much. If you enjoyed what you watched today, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really, really helps the channel out and subscribe for more. I love you so much. If you miss me, you can find me on TikTok, Instagram, the whole, the whole shebang. And you better go become a member of the broadcast channel so you can decide what video is gonna go up next. All right, I love you. Bye. I need to take this off. Goodbye, goodbye.